if you're tearing your calluses from your swings, cleans, or snatches, there are different ways that we can grip the kettlebell to keep our calluses nice and safe. Hi, I'm Ryan Jankwitz, the owner of RJ Kettlebell. I use my online kettlebell programs to help men and women shed their spare time and build lean muscle so they can fit better in their clothes and look better naked. So I'm going to show you uh, what's called the hook grip and how we can use that in our swings, cleans, and snatches to prevent tearing our calluses. Now remember, I come from a hard style kettlebell training background. This is how, how I learned to grip the kettlebell for my hard style uh, exercises. So let's start with the swing. So in the swing, it's very easy to learn how to use the hook grip. When we use the hook grip, that means we're just using the fingers down here rather than the palm to grip the bell. Because when we use the palm or put the handle in the palm, that's when we pinch the calluses. So when I grab the kettlebell, I'm going to hook it with my fingers rather than put it in the center of my palm during my swings. And your fingers are strong enough to hold on to the kettlebell no matter how heavy you go, um, that it won't slip out of your hands when you're doing swings. If it feels like it's going to slip, then maybe using some, some chalk would be a good idea. But again, I'm just going to hook it with the fingers here. So my hands are actually pretty relaxed. And I can do my swings without pinching my calluses. Now things get a little more complicated as you move to cleans and snatches. In the clean, we still start with a hook grip when we grab the kettlebell. But as we finish the clean in the rack position, the kettlebell is gonna be resting down at the bottom of the palm or the heel of the palm. The trick here is when you drop the kettlebell to let it skip your calluses and then catch it again with your fingers in your backswing. So let me show you what that would look like. So I start by hooking the kettlebell with my fingers to start. At the top here, the kettlebell is resting at the heel of my palm. Now when I drop the kettlebell, I'm gonna let it skip my calluses and hook it with my fingers. So there it is, I was able to hook it with my fingers and it did not touch my calluses or maybe it just lightly touched them as it skipped up over them. Same thing with the snatch. The clean and the snatch are the same with our grip. We start with the hook grip at the bottom. At the top, the kettlebell will be resting on the heel of the palm. And then we gotta skip the calluses again. When we flex the wrist forward, it will help flip the kettlebell over. And you gotta grab the kettlebell with your fingers again. So we skip the calluses. So let me show you what that's gonna look like. So I start with my hook grip. So here, the kettlebell is resting the bottom of my palm. And now when I flick it down, I'm gonna have it skip my calluses. I'm gonna hook it again with my fingers. So I was able to hook it with the fingers there, skip the calluses and didn't aggravate them at all. So if you're tearing your calluses, really focus on using the hook grip and just practice getting good with that particular grip. It'll save you a lot of wear and tear. If you have any more questions about kettlebell training, please send me a message. Stay strong.